Recently, I had the privilege of conducting an exclusive one-on-one -on -one interview with a newly appointed U.S. envoy to Somalia, Mr. Abu Bakr Arman. Mr. Arman is a writer, peace activist, and interfaith bridge builder. He believes that the people of faith have a major role to play in creating an environment conducive for peace and understanding. Here is part of our one-on-one -on -one conversation. You know, there's a lot of um, news in the media, uh, most of it negative about Somalia, but uh, your appointment as, as envoy from Somalia to the United States is a, is a great home. Can you describe to us what, what's your mission, what's your role, what, what, what's the difference between an ambassador and an envoy? Uh, the ambassadors um, sustain relationships that exist, diplomatic mm -hmm. relationships that exist. Envoys are task-oriented. In this case, it's uh, an attempt to officially uh, rekindle that diplomatic relationship between the two countries that kind of grew apart. Now, now you say gr grew apart. Uh, what happened to the relationship between the Somali government and the United States? Or, or, or should I say, what happened to the Somali government? Yeah, yeah, there is no animosity between the two countries. But as you know, with <coughs> when the American troops went to Somalia to aid the, um, against the uh, starvation and the famine uh, during uh, that period, uh, in 1993, things went bad, and, um, and and since that time, there's really been no time, functioning yeah. Somali government. Absolutely, since 91, there hasn't been any mm. functioning government. So this is uh, and uh, your your role is to help to work that diplomatic relationship Correct. back in place. Correct. Uh, now there was a town hall meeting, and there were, there were a lot of issues discussed. One of the one of the core issues that that I'd like you to talk about is this idea of a real connection and a real identity between Somalis who live in America, who at the same time have a disconnect with back home. Uh, they're Muslim in America, which is a, a, a religious uh, identity struggle that they have. And then their identity as American. Mm -hmm. uh, the identity issue is always an issue with all immigrant communities. Yeah, sure. I mean. Uh, it's good to know that your homeland is safe and, 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 and there's security established in their functioning government that you can go back to for vacation, you can send your kids to, you can visit collectively. So, so you're family. saying those, those and many, many are refugees? M many of them uh, came as refugees, now established themselves here. Many of them are born here, raised here. Uh, since 91, I mean, so you know, and, and I'm, I'm going to say it's not a commercial, but but I, I think that, that Somalis are getting a bad rap because I know uh, so many Somalis who uh, say, you know, y your first name if you're American Somali is supposed to be PhD, uh, but that's not the sense that we're getting the connection. Mm -hmm. uh, what is the current state of this identity uh, crisis? Yeah, naturally, media focuses on negative things because it sells. I mean, Excuse me, I mean, it's we are not media here. Of course, I mean uh, some media, right? Not some all media. media I think. Uh, correction. Some media do focus on uh, negative things because negative things sell. Uh, in this case, we have 20, 24, I think, uh, youth that are missing in, in Minneapolis area. Uh, and they certainly present and threat. And they are believed home. to have gone home and, uh, and right. joined yeah, and some uh, extremist elements in there. And they kind of present uh, a threat uh, to this country, and that's understandable. Now, on the other side of this scale, you have countless number of youth that are doing here in this area, for example, the, uh, the town hall meeting that you referenced yesterday was organized by youth who want to play a positive role, who want to express their identity as Muslims, as Somalis, as Americans, because they don't see contradiction in that. And they want to be productive, whether they are here or elsewhere. Um, so these, these stories are not told, and uh, sadly. Well, we, I think we need. I think we're here to, to tell part of that, that story, but th this population of of young people, uh, this this their identity as Americans. Uh, do you? Th what do you think that the, the hope is? You're you're in Cincinnati, right? No, what's in Columbus. In Columbus, what's going on? 
Uh, in Columbus, there are, uh, again, the stories are the same. I mean, everywhere that people are, you will find uh, some people that are not really uh, uh, good, good, good folks. But in general, people are great. I mean, youth are resilient. They are coming, some of them did not transition into first cities of their own countries, for mm -hmm. example. They came from a rural area, some, and came to the first world and joined the schools and they were seated in uh, age-appropriate class and yet ended up graduating from uh, right. colleges yeah. and all that. So that shows a sense of resilience that's positive. What's the native that's language? Uh, Somali. Because most Somalis that I know have tremendous English. I, I think yeah. this is, I, I think um, we're telling a different story. There, there is another place that this is going. And we're going to take a, a, a break. Uh, and we're going to.